My name is uh, Mauricio Solar. Uh, I am a full professor at Technical University Federico Santa Maria in Chile. Today we will talk about socio-technical system development methodology levels and uh, explain the topics to keep in count before developing a socio-technical ICT. The student uh, must be able to know the concepts to understand socio-technical levels in a software development, specific uh, goals. Uh, the students are uh, able to describe socio-technical technical system development methodologies, uh, waterfall, <clears throat> future-driven uh, development, uh, agile, uh, scrum, extreme programming, and lean. A socio-technical system, uh, namely STS, is a social system operating on a technical base and the socio-technical system theory have two basic principles. The first is the interaction between society and technical factors that create the conditions for a better performance of an organization or community having common information interests. Interaction refers in most cases to linear cause and uh, effects, relationships, and complex non-linear system with unpredictable behavior. The second principle is uh, that optimizing every aspect alone, partner or technical, tends to increase not only the number of unpredictable relationships which were not considered in the design, but also those relationships that are harmful to system, to system performance, due to excess uh, information generated and not analyzed. And in this slide, uh, we explain the socio-technical system development methodologies, waterfall. It's a, a traditional method and works uh, very well in uh, linear planning. Also, it looks like old school. Waterfall is still used for developments requiring high dependency on their functions and presents a, a sequential uh, flow of processes. The waterfall requires a lot of structure and documentation in advance and is divided into stages. The first stage is uh, very important because it needs developers and customers to fully understand the requirements and a scope of the project before moving on the next stage. The stages are relatively rigid and often follow uh, these steps. Evaluate the requirements and uh, determine the project, project scope. Analyze the requirements, design, implementation, testing. Go to the production and finally maintenance. Waterfall is not very flexible and if changes need uh, to be made or mistakes corrected in the final stages, the entire, the entire uh, cycle should be reviewed. Usually, one stage must be completed before the next begins. And uh, this helps organize tasks. Waterfall is uh, often used by large plan-based teams that have a very clear understanding of the scope of the project. If uh, this slide, sorry, in this slide we explain the socio-technical system development methodology future-driven development, FDD. FDD is an uh, iterative and incremental approach to software development based on functions and de derived from the agile methodology. FDD is uh, typically seen as an older methodology a kind of a precursor to modern lean agile implementations. FDD goals, uh, goal is uh, to deliver work software frequently and is a customer-centric approach, making it a good choice for smaller development teams and allowing for fast deliveries. 
every two weeks. To produce visible software efficiently, FDD has some basic steps, the first of which is to develop a general model. Next, a list of features is uh, created and then each uh, one is planned. The final two steps refer to design by future and build uh, by future, both of which take most of the effort. At each step, at, sorry, at uh, each step, status reports are delivered in progress, results and uh, potential errors are uh, tracked. Also, efficient uh, response to change is one of the best attributes of FDD. Understanding the customer requirements and the overall model early in the project can reduce any surprises during development. Also, any feature that takes more than two weeks uh, to design uh, must be broken down into separate functions to have uh, the two-week uh, rule. FDD's uh, rigid structure makes it less desirable for development maintenance teams. In this slide, we explain uh, the socio-technical system development methodology Agile. The Agile methodology was uh, developed in response to the growing frustrations of uh, highly structured and inflexible uh, methodologies. This approach is uh, designed to adapt to change and to need, uh, sorry, and the need to produce software uh, faster. Agile values uh, individuals and their relationships and interactions over tools. It has the collaboration of the client uh, throughout the development process, responding to change rather than following an established plan. It is focused on uh, presenting software uh, rather than documentation. Using the agile approach, teams develop in uh, sprints, uh, which include a defined duration and a list of uh, results, but in no particular order. In sprints, teams work toward the goal of uh, delivering uh, work software or some other uh, tangible and verifiable result. Agile uh, requires a lot of collaboration, fo focusing on the strengths and uh, efficiency of the team, along with uh, internal feedback from various uh, departments and clients. Uh, customer satisfaction uh, is the top priority with the Agile approach, which uh, teams achieve by continually offering proven and prioritized work functions. In this slide, we explain the social technical system development methodology uh, Scrum. Scrum uses Agile's core philosophy uh, in which teams and developers should collaborate strongly every day. With Scrum, the software is uh, developed using, an, using sorry, an iterative approach in which the team is at the front of, and uh, in the center. It requires self-organization and self-management and it's necessary to have discipline and work in small and efficient teams. Team members break the final goal down into smaller goals at a first and carry them out uh, using uh, fixed length iterations or, or sprints to create software and uh, display it frequently uh, every two weeks. Meetings uh, play an important role in the Scrum approach, and during each sprint, daily planning meetings and uh, demonstrations are held to track progress and collect feedback. This uh, incremental method promotes rapid change and development and uh, adds value to complex projects. Scrum incorporates the structure and discipline of more traditional software development methodologies with the flexibility and the iterative practices of modern Agile. In this slide, 
we explain the sociotechnical system development methodology extreme programming. XP. XP is an agility-based method and uh, enables the um, production of higher quality software using uh, best practices in software development as uh, with uh, most agile approaches XP allows frequent releases in uh, short development sprints that encourage change uh, when necessary. The union uh, with the user and the development is uh, essential to better understand the functionality and be able to carry out uh, in general. XP follows a um, set of values rather than steps including simplicity, develop as requested, no more. Communication, teams must collaborate and work together on each piece of software and continuous feedback. XP requires developers to plan and understand users' needs and to be able to capture and understand the informal descriptions. The rule is schedule and divide work into iterations designed with uh, simplicity, code, and uh, test frequently. In this slide, we explain the sociotechnical system development methodology Lean. Lean is a workflow methodology incorporating principles and practices from the concept of manufacturing, which is uh, applied to a wide variety of industries including software development. Agile is a good methodology to use in uh, development practices, but it does not include rules for scaling these uh, practices organization-wide or applying them uh, outside, the, outside of uh, software development work. That's why many organizations uh, that practice uh, Agile uh, begin to incorporate lean philosophies, practices, and tools to help innovate at the enterprise level. The basic principles of lean are optimize the package, eliminate waste, generate quality, create knowledge, defer commitment, deliver uh, quickly and uh, respect people. Lean is a guide and decision support throughout the organization to discover potential problems and maintain a healthy organizational culture. The combination of the best of Lean thinking and agile software development practices can create a culture of healthy and sustainable innovation that benefits the development organization and the system as a whole. Thank you so much for your attention.